Hi guys, welcome to a quick update on the OptoShift employee rostering template. So um, what you see here is the spot roster. So in this case, we want to assign employees to shifts. And this is a web application to uh, manage all that. This is an end user application to uh, define the shifts and then have OptoPlanner uh, assign those shifts to the employees that you've defined, right? So um, what do we have in this application? Well, um, let me first maybe show you the result. What we have here is an, for an assembly line where we're building a car. Uh, we need to put a battery into that car, a bumper into that car, a chassis and doors and so forth. And to do that on that assembly line, we need to have somebody working there uh, almost all the time. So in this particular case, during the day shift, we have, two, we have a morning shift from six o'clock uh, until uh, two o'clock and we have uh, an afternoon shift from two o'clock until ten o'clock and uh, for during those those times those are two shifts and you can see here for the battery spot we have Amy in the morning shift and we have Dan in the afternoon shift we don't need a night shift because during the night we don't build batteries right but uh, for example for bumpers and chassis we do install those during the night and the, um, the assembly line keeps rolling at that time so we do need people at that point in time right so um, you can see here a pattern sometimes for example for this wednesday from uh the tuesday second till uh, sorry the 7th of february to uh the 8th of february we do need somebody at night because we do intend to uh, build cars that use batteries at that point in time okay so how does this how does this work how can you use this as a user right so let's take a look at um and other uh, department, right? Uh, here we defined a number of skills, electrical skill, mechanical skill, as you can see, and we can add a skill. For example, we can add a skill like, uh, let's say the ICT skill, right? Here we go. Um, we have spots, right? So uh, this is where you need somebody to work. For example, uh, here to install batteries. Now, if you would be scheduling nurses, uh, these would be the departments that they work or more specifically um, the, the, the location that they work. Um, uh, as, a, as a nurse. Uh, if you would, for example, be scheduling guards or something like this, this would be the uh, location, the site that you need to guard, right? For um, right. But in this particular case, we're working on an assembly line, and this is the spot on the assembly line uh, that we need to fulfill. As you can see, we sometimes need skills for that. Employees need to have specific skills, and we need an employee with a specific skill to work there. For example, for the bumper here, you see we don't need any skill. Um, uh, and of course we can create a spot too right so let's say we create uh well it doesn't matter now let's skip that um so then of course when you have our employees here we have our amy cole we who has the mechanical and the electrical skill we have amy jones who only has the electrical skill so for example we can uh, take the amy green here and we can say okay she no longer has the electrical skill but she does have the ict skill and we can save that so now she has the ict and the mechanical skill Okay, great. So um, then we switch to the um, uh, to the spot roster, um, and in the spot roster, you'll see that currently we have our shifts already defined. We define that based on rotations, but um, here you can see that um, we have our uh, shifts already uh, defined. Uh, we need morning shift, a late shift, a night shift, a uh, morning shift, a late shift, but no night shift on the battery and on the and then somewhere on the bumper, the doors, the engine, the lights, the radiator, the sunroof, and so forth. Um, so when we've defined this, and of course we can we can uh, some of these things we might want to define ourselves. So for example, we might want to say for this one particularly one, I want to say okay. Um, I want to pin it and I want to say it's going to go to Beth Jones, right? So, and we can apply that. So that basically means that me as the manager, I've now just said, okay, that particular late shift will be done by Beth Jones on the battery. Okay. Um, okay. Let, let's saw, but all the others, I don't want to be responsible to fill all those in. I'll let OptoPlanner do that for me. So we just click the solve button here and you can see OptoPlanner has now started solving. Right, and uh, as we give it some more time, uh, you'll see that we get uh, a, a better and better score. It's still solving for another 20 seconds, 18 seconds, and so forth. And it, it you start see it starts assigning people. So, for example, the morning shift for on the battery will be done by Dan Poe, the afternoon shift by Bad Jones because I forced it that it should be Bad Jones, 
and then uh, the uh, late shift is uh, the night shift is done by J. And you can see that the morning shift already changed to Gus because that gave a better solution. Um, there's a number of constraints in here. Uh, one person can only work one shift per day. Um, if he has two shifts, there need to be 10 hours between those two shifts. Of course, if you have a specific shift, you need to have the required skill for that shift and so forth. Um, and of course, the people can also say which days they want to work and which days they don't want to work. And we uh, try to keep that in mind as much as possible. Uh, on top of all this, on top of this UI, you also have a REST API for all this. So, for example, through the REST API, you can add an employee, right? or you can uh, or change an employee, uh, you can add a shift, remove a shift, add a spot, and all those kinds of things. And of course, you can call the, uh, the major thing here, of course, you can ask it to solve the roster with OptiPlanner. Right. So this is the uh, API uh, for that, and it's completely documented by Swagger, of course. Okay. So thank you for listening.